Hello and welcome to our special feature, IFIM B-School, invigorating management education globally. A business school degree can be a powerful differentiator in an otherwise competitive and highly crowded marketplace. And yet, Bengaluru-based IFIM B-School is making the case for how academia and industry can seamlessly intertwine. And here's how. Education is fundamental to the growth of a sound economy. And with the emergence of digital technologies, it is becoming increasingly important that management institutes prepare students for leadership roles in new age corporations. IFIM Business School is one such institute that is imparting knowledge which is industry relevant, socially and globally significant with its customized academic curriculum that is AACSB accredited. You've served in leadership positions at several top-ranked business schools across the country. What brought you to IFIM in particular? IFIM Business School is the school of the future. Two reasons. A, it is promoted by an entrepreneur who is professionally qualified and is also passionate about education to make a difference, number one. Two, if we look at IFIM Business School today, nobody would have probably thought that as a school it would be accredited by double AACSB, which is the gold standard in AACSB accreditation. Sure. And when I was approached, I thought, I think here is a school which is going to make a disruption in the management education space. I wanted to be part of that exciting journey and that brought me here. Well, in your capacity as a director, you've been spearheading several special projects here at IFIM. Tell us about the ones that you believe hold the most promise or the ones that you're personally most passionate about. I think three areas. The first one is the most important one, faculty development. Why I say this? The reason being that why can't we create the portrait and the pralhats from India? Why they have to go and be there in US to succeed? Absolutely. So the idea is catch them young, those who are in the 30s, bright young guys, okay, put them through a structured faculty development program and hopefully they will make the difference going forward. And if India has to grow, education has to grow. So the second idea is how do we integrate practice with our teaching, okay. That's the second idea to work very closely with the industry. And the third, global standards. Whatever we do should be of global standards, which means that our faculty our students, and as an institution, we need to be integrated with what is happening globally. So what sort of placement opportunities are IFIM graduates privy to? See, conventionally, these schools graduates will go and join an FMCG company. That's the, that's the coveted one, the levers and the PNGs of the world. Right. And that was conventional marketing, if you have to say. Okay. Now, if we look at IFIM, you would like to look at the emerging roles, which is not conventionally a marketing role, but maybe a combination of marketing and technology. So MarTech will be far more important as a role. And a new age company okay, will be the recruiters of these graduates. So we are looking at those companies which are in the new age areas and roles which are emerging. So that's the kind of placement we are looking at, number one. Number two, we are also made a difference in terms of our approach to placements. And I can personally say that neither the companies nor the students really get to see each other and work with each other before they get placed. Okay. So you have 20 companies coming on a single day in a top school campus and students actually, the graduates actually going from one desk to the other. Sure. And then it's like somebody making the first offer and somebody accepting the first offer. We want to move out of this Mela approach. Our approach will be an engagement approach. So unlike other schools who has got a conventional summer internship, we have an industry internship program at the 
end of the program, where students are there with a the company for four and a half months and the company and the student get to know each other better before getting placed. First hand okay. experience. Absolutely. So, our retention rate of such graduates will be much higher, company will be happy, graduates will be happy. Phenomenal. Well, sir, by way of closing comments, what's next for IFIM both as a business school and as a brand? See, the most important part is uh, it is to create impact and to create a difference. So as a school, we would like to be socially relevant because India as a country, you know, needs leaders who are relevant to the society. Okay. On the other hand, through our unique curriculum processes and interventions, we would like to create a global impact. I think that's the important part where we will be having our global ambition, but we definitely want to be relevant to the society out here in India. Sir, thank you so much for your time and we wish you continued success. Thank you. IFIM Business School offers its students state-of-the-art classrooms, specialized Bloomberg Finance Labs, a library, amphitheater, gym and hostel facilities, all right in the middle of Bengaluru's IT hub, Electronic City. The courses offered by the Institute range from PGDM, PGDM Finance, PGDM Marketing and PGDM for Working Professionals, along with PGDM for Executives. What distinguishes IFIM from the sea of highly reputed management institutes in this country? To answer that question, let me go back a little bit. So, in our traditional uh, management education system, we, the entire system was established by the Indian Institute of Management. I mean, they are the marquee institution that people follow. And they were created to address the need of the public sector units to have the CEOs. Then came the private institutions when the country got liberalized and they all thought that that was the best model to follow. However, in IFIM, we thought we needed to define a mission slightly different because what the curriculum had to do was to deliver the first job to the graduating professional. And in the first job, the needs are different from that of what is trained to a CEO. So these are very functional needs. Therefore, we took a very, very simple mission, nurture holistic, socially responsible and continuously employable professionals. I would focus on the employable part our definition of employability was ability of oneself to add value to society. So in the sense, for the first job, I need to have some functional skills and I need to have an attitude which is very clearly acceptable by the organization in which I'm going to get a job. And that was the construct around which our curriculum got created. But what actually makes for a holistic education and how do you deliver on the Institute's promise to ensure these students are socially responsible? So let's define what is holistic. We are talking about education first, then we are talking about management education. So let's speak about the role of education. Education has to be holistic. So it has to address the mind, body and the soul. And if I were to put them into three new management parlance, it would be knowing, doing and being. All these three need to be addressed in holistic education. What happens in our education system is we are so examination focused and academic focused that we ignore the body and the soul. We Absolutely. are very much concentrating on the knowledge aspect and ignore the two. However, the two make a great impact on attitude and attitude is what drives organizations. So how do you build that attitude? You have to go back to basics of education. In our program, we have a, we have a coursework that our students have to do called the personality enhancement program. In this program, Students have to go to the gym. Now, the reason for that is to build their inner confidence. When you are feeling fit, when you're feeling looking good, a lot happens to you internally and you're able to win over a lot of situations which you can't do otherwise. And this is the objective of the physical part. The other part of the personality enhancement program is to, you know, sort of build the soft skills. So how you present yourself, how you make presentations, how you write reports, how you write emails, that is the other aspect of PEP. So that takes care of the personality side of the whole thing. On the socially responsible point of thing, we have this intervention called the social immersion program, where our students are put into socially challenged areas where they get sensitized with the social challenges of the uh, local area. And then they have to identify one problem that they can solve. 
So they immerse themselves in that problem, trying to figure out the challenges that the government has to offer, the regulations have to offer, the people by themselves have to overcome that challenge. And that gives them a good sense of how difficult it is to make something socially responsible. So that's another way of building things back. Now having established such a strong foothold domestically, is IFIM eyeing international expansion next? We are not actually looking at an international expansion, but we are trying to internationalize ourselves. So what do we mean by internationalization? We mean we got to have international curriculum, we got to have international faculty, and very importantly, international students. And why is internationalization so important today is a good question to be also answered. It's primarily because workforces today are globalized. So when I'm doing a job or I'm trying to run my own company, I would have people from multiple nationalities working for me. So I need to be sensitized to how they think, how they feel, what are their cultures. And what we have done is, as a first step, we got ourselves internationally accredited. We became the sixth school in India to get the coveted ACSB accreditation, which makes us part of the 800 top business schools in the world. IFIM has also made the somewhat unconventional decision of launching a bachelor's degree program. Why so? Why now? What was the rationale? One of the key reasons why management has succeeded in India is because undergraduate has really failed. So we really feel that what we are delivering as an MBA program is not an MBA program today. It is equivalent to an MS program, what you would deliver in a Western uh, framework of education. The MBA program is normally delivered to executives after five to seven years of work, and then you want to move them up from a lower management to middle management or middle management to executive management. Right. While here, we're getting fresh students. So we want to change that paradigm. And what we want to really do is give a bachelor's program that creates functionally, continuously employable professionals to the market. And that's the reason we thought, let's get the bachelor's right so these students don't have to get into an immediate MBA for the first job. They can probably get the same job by graduating with a three-year bachelor's degree. A lot of engineers come to do an MBA. And what is it that engineering contributes to them? Is their analytical and probably their quantitative skills. Now this can be, this skill can be taught without doing engineering. So we intend to put that into a bachelor's program so our students graduating have the best of engineering and the best of management when they graduate. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We wish you continued success. Thank you very much. It's time for a short break, but our special feature IFIM B-School Invigorating Management Education Globally continues on the other side. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to our special feature, IFIMB School, Invigorating Management Education Globally. And now we bring you a 360 degree perspective on the IFIMB School experience. You'll hear from everyone, from alumni to administration and staff to students. Have a look. IFIM stands for Beyond Tomorrow. Let me emphasize what Beyond Tomorrow means for us and for our students. Beyond Tomorrow means that we are upskilling our students to ensure that they are ready for new age companies and the new age roles. So we actually roped in the top CXOs of the organizations to understand what was their need which was not being met by any other business school so that we could leverage that and include those in the curriculum. So the key thing that we included in our curriculum is something that we call as super specialization. Super specialization is that element of the curriculum where we, where we regroup the students uh, which are two year students and we, we make them you know, go along, get along with, with the industry people to ensure that they work together as a group and work on a problem that is the real life problem in the industry. So this super specialization as a curriculum element is conducted along with collaborations with the top uh, you know, business schools across US and, and Europe. Some of the schools that we would like to name in this are the ESCP which is based in London, VCU, Stanford. The other program which is of significant importance is our international business program. 
Under that business program, we have opportunities for our students where we allow them to obtain dual degrees. Um, we also have programs where we send our students for uh, you know, term exchange, where they get exposure to the global business environment. And I think these two elements uh, of our program, which is international uh, term exchange as well as one plus one degree, offers them a great advantage in terms of understanding what's happening in the global business today. IFM provides a lush two-acre residential facility to its students where they receive the opportunity to practice yoga, play volleyball, football and also perform exercise at the gym as part of its personality enhancement program. The PEP program also focuses on the parallel development of life skills alongside an active fitness regime to help its students succeed in life and the competitive corporate world. Well, IFM's business school uh, PEP program is very unique to any B school in India. So PEP st basically stands for Personality Enhancement Program and in this we have sports, yoga, gym and various other activities and I'm very keen in sports and so yeah it gives me an exposure to various kind of sports and provides me that uh, active lifestyle because in IFIM we believe that to become a leader later on in the future it is very essential that we are fit. This is a quite uh, unique initiative by the authorities here. So this program focuses on our mental as well as our physical well-being. We caught up with IFIM faculty who shed more light on the unique initiative that the institute has on offer, focused on the holistic development of students. So one of the initiatives of the BB Padode Centre for Sustainability is the Social Immersion Programme, known as the SIP. This programme we have developed so that students can learn to be more socially responsible. The students are immersed with a project for about 15 days. It's called the immersion period. So they go to a village, which the NGO ha already is working in, in that village, addressing a particular social issue, SIP, get students to identify a social issue and find solutions to that, uh, to that issue using managerial techniques. And the social impact is measured by seeing whether the solution the students come up with is implemented. The resources for research uh, incubation, they come from uh, the students and the project reports of IIP and SIP. IIP is our four and a half months industry internship program and our SIP is social immersion program where students go and spend two weeks with an NGO, they come back and prepare the TV report based on their experience. We are integrating the three main stakeholders the student, the industry practitioners, and the faculty, and we are creating the research ecosystem which can add academic value. The Startup Foundry is about incubating new ventures that IFM students want to set up. We have had a track record of a lot of students setting up their own companies, so rather than them going outside, we thought we will give them an opportunity within the college to incubate their ventures. We get experts from the industry in the area that they want to set up their ventures to guide them, help them, mentor them. Our own faculty members give inputs to the students, hold their hand, help them. We also connect with some uh, venture capital groups to try and arrange early seed funding for them. So all in all, we just want to hold the hand of our students who want to start their own ventures. Let's now hear from IFIM alumni about the corporate mentorship program. Being an alumni and also part of this mentorship program, it has helped me to groom the fresh faces who are ready to go to corporates. Me having an experience of 12 plus years uh, and sharing my experience with them and making them corporate ready uh, to face the corporate world, uh, how successful they become is my success. Yeah, IFIM is one of the better known business schools in Bangalore and it has got one of the most disruptive curriculums which is very very critical for any industry which which needs to be forward looking so one is the curriculum which is industry ready so that makes it really differentiated number two the industry uh, mentoring sessions which they have is one of the unique programs which any business school has Here's what students had to say about the impact that IFIM has had on their lives. IFM has been one of the most interesting choices I've made academically. So this place has actually helped me grow better. Uh, they have excellent state-of-art facilities in their classrooms. They have a Bloomberg terminal. Their partnership with Harvard Business School to provide us excellent content. 
and we have the greatest faculties here who have everything we need for our careers so every class or every section that we learn here has always been very much tailor made for us and it's helped me grow into a better leader a better communicator and it's helped me actually amass everything i would actually require for a corporate life the faculties gives me a lot of advices yes i didn't know that exactly how to study in specific uh, uh, subjects such as accountants and marketing something like that from that moment all our uh, faculties gave me a lot of help how to learn how to do homework i mean assignments something like that so everybody uh, gives me lots of help and yeah, assistance Here's a recruiter's take on what separates IFIM graduates from those of other institutions. The reason we come back to this uh, organization or the institution is because they have been providing us resources which have been meeting our demands. Um, we have always found their students to be technically and conceptually strong in their subject matter along with the learnability and confident attitude what they groom in their students. IFIM not only uh, give them the classroom and the textbook knowledge to their students. They always give them something more which is more corporate friendly for us. IFIM's future plans have Mumbai in sight, with them planning to launch a 17 acre residential campus with high end academic and extracurricular amenities. IFIM plans to launch a BBA program at its Mumbai Karjat campus, aimed at preparing students for Industry 4.0 from the undergraduate level itself. Well, that brings our special feature, IFIM Business School, invigorating management education globally to a close. I'm Pooja Jain, signing off from their campus in Bengaluru. Thanks for watching.